I am old enough to be your mother. Kemi Olunloyo slams Ruth Kadiri for calling her social media bully. Welcome to the news. And thank you for turning into a lesson. Controversial journalist Kemi Olunloyo has called out Nigerian actress Ruth Kadiri for tagging her as social media bully. Following the recent events of a late 12-year-old Sylvester Oromoni who was assaulted and bullied by senior students of Dowen College, Kadiri took to her Instagram page to call out social media bullies, naming Olonoyo as one. The actress wrote, everyone always looks away until the worst happens. Then we start shouting justice for hashtag. Hashtag Kemi Olonoya is the number is the number one social media bully I know, from bully children to adults. Everyone says this, franchises with her or looks the other way. She will pick on you and make you her subject for a year. For fear of this, everyone is quiet. It is okay. Not to share the Jesuit's sentiments. You have a right you can stand with whoever you want. But constantly taunting her, calling her out is unacceptable. And I will not be a passerby who watches and is quiet. Say no to bullying. Hashtag say no to bullying. However, Lona warned the actress to keep her name out of her mouth as she is old enough to give back to her. She wrote, Dear at Ruth Kadiri, I appreciate, I appreciate if you please keep my name off your mouth. I've sent you a DM I never heard of you till today, possibly because I'm not a film watcher nor found you notable. I must educate you about bullying. This is not a time to drag my work as I don't drag you. yours. Know what an investigative journalist does. If I report someone about someone I investigated and you don't like it, it is not bullying. It is a bitter truth. I am asking you to please, please, please remove the post that you has you bullying and harassing me with hate speech to your fans. You don't want to get into a long drawn fight with me. If I, if I have people flag that post at Instagram, we'll remove it and we'll count it as censored community guideline violation. You have no right to shame and degrade me. I have children older than you and I'm older than your mother. Stop this immediately. People will call me wicked if I start with you. We went into depression, have a child to care for and even threatened your own colleagues with their choice of votes during election. You said Nigerians do not deserve help, yet you portray this angel nice demeanor to your fans. Please, leave me alone and don't talk about me. Your DM is below. Keep your mouth off my work as I do not know yours. Well, I'm going to say... <laughs> hey. I'm going to say this. You see, eh? When you don't respect yourself as an elder, look, gone are the days you say respect, you, you respect is, um, you know, you demand respect. No, you don't demand it. You, you earn it. Tentelli. Ruth is somehow wrong in, how am I going to put it? She's, if you look at it from one angle, she's actually wrong. She would have ignored. Just look away. But like she said, she said she does not look away. Kemi Olonoyo is one person that is, she's a self-acclaimed investigative journalist. Up till date, I do not even know where she got her facts from that there was no Lekki massacre. Another news that, that comes out, if you know you are an adult and you are an old woman, please, can you respect yourself as one? Yes, Ruth herself, like I said, she's not, is not coming out to call her like that was actually maybe, you shouldn't have even called her at all because... Like I said, she, she, she's this, she, if, if you say now, she replied that. There are some people that, okay, I'm older than you. Let me show you that maturity. Just ignore like that, like that, like that. You understand? But since <laughs> you're claiming senior, I cannot look away. What, how is the senior now? How do we even know who is the senior here? Coming out to say this and that about somebody else, about this particular woman. See, people have been waiting for this opportunity. And please, people are going to drag her for sure. I know Nigerians. She has been making so many past comments. You do your work, your work, which work, which work, who sent you? You come outside and you, you call a pot black. I mean, you call a, a pot, um, a plate, I mean, a plate black and a, and a pot. You call it clean. Yes, that is what you do. Imagine her coming out during that, that particular week where there was a 21, um, that 21 building at Ikoyi collapsed and was saying, oh, the members of the family of, you know, that we are members of a family of people that were inside the building and are still trapped under the rubble. They were all present and waiting and crying. But members of, um, members of, uh, how am I going to put it again? Members of, uh, huh, members of people that, uh, 
uh, how am I going to put this now? Members of people that were killed by Lekki Massacre, they, they, they could not come out. And I'm saying, what? That particular one, I was like, I was like, no, no, no. If you don't have, must you chase clouds with something like this? I keep saying this. There are some things you don't utter, you don't say. Nature will haunt you for it. Nature will front that thing to you. I don't know about you, but for every time I've passed the hard judgment, sincerely, when I come across it, like there's a flashback and you say, it will tell to me in my mind, look at what others were going through and you are very sensitive about it. I don't know about others. And I'll be like, oh, okay, point taken. But the way some people come out on issues, this is issues concerning... I keep saying it. If you're going to come out and say things on this particular answers issue, this lucky massacre, please make sure you're not hungry. Make sure you are not, you are very fine. Malaria is not doing you or typhoid. Because if you come out and say nonsense, I tell you, Nigerians will drag you. And of course, if you come out and you say, oh, you want to chase clouds, nature will come for you. It might not be now, it is going to be a seed. But nature will keep that seed for you. Keep it very well. Then on a very good day, you will experience it. And then people will come out and tell you that you are, you are chasing clout again. And you're going to see how it hurts. You're going to see how it hurts. Sincerely. So many mothers in R and rehabilitation centers. If you can burn her tent, and does that make her your mother? It's saying in Yoruba that, <laughs> can the girl be proud of you being her mother or any other girl for that matter? Hmm. Oh my goodness. Age is just a number. Age is not a criteria for wisdom. Methuselah was way older than King Solomon, yet King Solomon was recorded as the widest, wisest man that had ever lived. <laughs> if you see what I'm saying here, yeah, someone I can't read them. I am so, so like, this is... <laughs> okay, let's continue.